Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on C programming. Uh, this session is all about nesting of if else statements. So nesting of if else statements is completely different from the previous statement that is the if else. In if else statement, we are just checking one condition. Based on the results of one condition, if it is true, then one set of statements are executed. If it is false, another set of X statements are executed. But suppose if we have to test more than one condition, then we need to go for this nesting of if else statements. More than one condition has to get tested here. So the syntax is first we are checking the first condition if the test condition 1. That means if the first condition is true, then you need to check the next condition, test condition 2. So in the syntax, I am just writing here two conditions only. It is possible that if the condition 2 is also true, you may test the third condition. You may test the fourth condition depending on the requirement, depending on what program you are writing. So like this, a series of conditions can be tested here. But at present for the syntax, I am using two conditions here. So if the test condition if the first condition is true, then check the second condition. Now the second condition is having a possibility of what? Either it can be true or false. If it is true, then this statement is executed. If the condition 2 is false, then this statement, the else of this statement is executed. So we can always take this as the inner if else. Every if is having the else part here. So which else is for if that you need to be very careful while writing the program so here you can check this is the inner if else so if this condition is true you are executing this statement if this test condition 2 is false then you are executing this statement suppose if the first condition 1 itself becomes false then directly what the control will go to this statement that is the else part and this statement statement 3 will get executed so this is one pair of if else I'll just try to make it in one screen and show you. See, look here. So this is the inner if else. This is the outer if else. If the outer if condition fails, then this else part will get executed. And then the statement x will get executed. If the test condition 1 is true, then test condition 2 is tested. If test condition 2 is true, then statement 1 is executed. And the control will come directly to statement x. If the test condition 2 is false, the statement 2 is executed and then followed by the statement x. Test condition 1 is tested. If it is true, then you will carry out what? Con checking the condition 2. If this is also true, then whatever statement block 1, that means whatever statements you are writing inside for this condition 2 will get executed and then statement x will get executed. If condition 2 is false, then whatever statements you are writing here in the else part of condition 2 will get executed and then the statement x will execute it. Suppose if the condition 1 itself becomes false, then whatever statements you are writing for what? The else part of the outer if those statements will get executed and what? The statement x will get executed. So this is the flow here for the nesting of if else statements. One example I am writing here, you can check here, suppose if a company is planning to give bonus to female employees, but to give the bonus to the female employees, they want to check their balance. If, if the balance is greater than 5000, then 5% 5 of the balance is given as bonus. Suppose if that female employee is not having balance greater than 5000, 2% of the balance is given as bonus. Otherwise, for all the other employees that is the male employees irrespective of whether they have balance greater than 5000 or not a bonus of 2% of the balance is given to them finally at the end this balance is updated so first it is checking the condition if the gender is female the next for that female whether the balance for that female is what is having more than 5000 rupees then you give the company will give what 5% as the bonus, 5% of the balance as the bonus. Suppose if that female employee's balance is not greater than 5000, then the else part will get executed, wherein only 2% of the balance will be given to that female employee. This is what, this is the inner if. In case if the gender is male, that means the else part will get executed, 
finally the balance is updated if a person let us assume that some person by name john he wants to go out to a restaurant for food he is first trying to see whether his health is good so first condition is what is checking whether if health is good okay if health is good only then he is planning to have his lunch outside if health is good but at the same time we want to check whether the outside weather is good okay like it should not be rainy if this is also true then i'll write in the print of statement lunch he will go outside he'll have lunch outside else that means if this condition if weather is not good else part is what lunch at home suppose if the health only the first condition is false then the outer if that means for this if we are going to write down the else part so something i'll write here in this printf we'll take medicines i want to tell you this nesting of if else is used if we have to test more than one condition so here also i can show you this is an outer if this is an inner if so whether the block for the inner if is executed or the block of statements for the else part of the inner if statement is executed or the block of statements for the else part of the outer if is executed at the end the statement x whatever is the statement x in all these three cases the last statement will be printed just simply i am writing one statement have a good day okay this is how the nesting of if else statements works hope you find this explanation useful if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care